Hey, this is Ray Dombrowski. Today I want to show you a brand new collection of textures I have called Plastisol 2. Just to give you a little background, Plastisol is a common type of t-shirt ink that becomes cracked over time as it's washed and worn. The original Plastisol collection that I have is one of my most popular products and it's a collection of 30 textures that'll give you this cracked look. The nice thing about these textures is you can just apply them to your graphic. You can use these for screen print production so your brand new tees will actually look like old vintage t-shirts. So now let me tell you about Plastisol 2 and why I created it. These are pictures of actual vintage tees that I purchased at a flea market. And this first one, this Jim Morrison one, you'll notice how the cracks are fairly uniform. There's a small area here where they don't appear. You'll notice in this POW graphic that there's areas with the cracking and then there's other areas that aren't cracked. There's more at the top of the letters here. If we look at this palm tree graphic, all the cracking is to the left and there's none on the right. Here's one of my favorite vintage tees, an old Harley Davidson shirt from the 80s. You'll notice a whole lot of cracking at the very top, and then as it goes down the shirt, there's less and less. There's some on the top of the beak, but not at the bottom, and then there's some more cracks in the lettering. The great thing about Plastisol 2 is it allows you more control of where those cracks appear in your design. I'll show you my favorite way in Illustrator to use these textures and I'll show you my favorite way in Photoshop to use these textures. So what I'll do is I'll drag a few of these textures right into my Illustrator file. And next I'll just position the textures where I want them on the graphic. and I can make copies and drag those around. So what I'm going to do now is use the opacity mask method to knock these textures through my graphic in Illustrator and I'll show you how to do that. First let's select all these PSD textures and I'll group them, Command G. And then what I want to do is I'll also select my graphic. So just hit shift and then click on your graphic and in your transparency window what you want to do is click make mask and you'll see that that has knocked through the transparency through my graphic. So let's say I change this background color to like an orange you can see that transparency coming through. Now these textures are really high resolution. They're 600 DPI, way higher than you're actually gonna need for screen printing, but the resolution is there if you need it. Now I wanna show you how I use the textures in Photoshop. My favorite way to use these textures in Photoshop is with the Photoshop brushes. And the file I have open here is called Fabric Mockup Panel. And this is an extra little goodie that comes with the Plastisol 2 collection and I'll tell you about that in a second but let's go into this logo here and what I'll do is I'll get rid of this layer mask that I have applied here so I'll just delete that and you can see all the texture is gone and the way I like to use these Photoshop brushes is with a layer mask and that way it's non-destructive to your graphic if you ever want to go back into your graphic and change it it's not destroyed or messed up by the texture. So to make a layer mask, we go layer, layer mask, reveal all, and then for these Photoshop brushes, you'll get a .abr file. Just open that up and double click on this ABR file, and that'll automatically load the brushes into your Photoshop brush panel. The way you wanna use these brushes is click on your brush tool, and then just select one of the Photoshop brushes. You can scale these up or down with your bracket keys on your keyboard. And what you want to do is just paint into this layer mask, which is represented by this white icon here. So I can just go in there 
and start painting in my texture. And I can also switch brushes to get some variety. And the nice thing about these again is they don't have a harsh edge. They have more of a subtle edge. So you can overlay them and overlap them. With these Photoshop brushes, you're not clicking and holding. What you're doing is you're just clicking and painting into that layer mask and that's taking the texture out of your graphic. What I'll do now is I'll go back to that fabric mock-up panel which I mentioned before. This is a really nice way to visualize and display your t-shirt graphics and you'll be able to see how they look printed on t-shirt fabric before they're actually really printed. So if you zoom in here you'll notice there's a high resolution t-shirt texture background and this file that I was working in before is a smart object. So once you save that and close it, it puts your graphic over that background. It also automatically applies a displacement map which makes your graphic match the texture in the t-shirt. You'll notice it also applies a very subtle fabric texture to your graphic. So it actually looks like it's printed on t-shirt fabric. The top layer you don't really need to mess with. That's just the highlights, so you can see the t-shirt fabric. And then the layer below that is another texture layer that allows you to see the t-shirt fabric. The bottom layer here is called fabric color, so you can change your fabric color to anything. You could go to black, you can go to white, a blue, yellow, green, whatever. So the only way to get this fabric mock-up panel is to order Plastisol 2. It's an extra bonus that comes with the t-shirt textures. If you're interested in Plastisol, the original collection, I'll put a link with this video. And now if you're asking yourself, should I buy Plastisol 1 or should I buy Plastisol 2? In my mind, I think it's best to have both. The original Plastisol is great, again, for really quick adding texture to your graphics. Plastisol 2 is more targeted. You can put the cracks wherever you want on your graphic. So what I'll do is I'll also have a bundle where you can buy both the original Plastisol and Plastisol 2 and get the fabric mock-up panel and you can get all that at a discounted rate. Thanks for watching.